Hello vinyl community, it's Robert from Blux Sonic Wafers and I just wanted to throw together an entry for Low Noise Jason Skills channel. Uh, I am also on my path to 3,000 subs. I'm up to uh, 41 at this time. But every little bit helps for every channel out there. Uh, Low Noise Jason has some great content. I highly recommend you go check out his channel. Uh, and without further ado, we got five albums from five different genres. And I might step over to six. First of all, Does humor belong in music? This is a comedy record by the Great Fire Sign Theater. It's a picture disc and it's from the Fighting Clowns album. Side one is Reagan, as in Ronald. Side two is Carter, as in Jimmy. This is from Rhino Records, who resurrected Fire Sign Theater's career, uh, it's one of the great things Rhino Records has done. Now, a lot of people can't get into the Fire Sign Theater. Uh, their humor is somewhat intellectual and uh, somewhat hard, hard to grab hold of on your first time around. It, it takes some multiple listenings of some of their albums, and they are sometimes political. Uh, this one is mostly music. Uh, they did a bunch of songs on this album. And this cover is by Phil, the late Phil Hartman, who did a lot of several rock and roll albums and uh, this is one of those. Four ninety eight list price. This has uh, never been played or opened. So I'm not sure what's on the back side of the actual single, that is. But anyway, I haven't really show, seen anybody show the uh, comedy genre as of yet. And I haven't seen all the videos, so I may have missed it. So that's my first, in, first one, Submission. After that, we're going to Edgar Meyer, Unfolding. I don't know if you're familiar with Edgar Meyer. He is an upright acoustic bass player, frequently uses a bow. Uh, he has uh, done a lot of work in the new grass genre, and that's where I'm going to put this one, although it's really got classical influence and jazz influence uh, it's a beautiful record unfolding is the title and he's got sam bush bale fleck jerry douglas kenny malone mark o'connor uh, all great musicians musicians uh, one of his most popular songs from this is early morning that gets played frequently live and the title track unfolding and as you can see it's on the uh, MCA Master Series and well deservedly so. Uh, Edgar is from Morristown, Tennessee which is down the road from me a little bit so I always like to support local talent He's played with Yo-Yo Ma, so he's 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 got a name out there. There's no doubt about it. Uh, so that's my second choice. And then, Dropkick Murphys, Flip School Murphys. This is live on Lansdowne, Boston, Mass, March 12th, March. 
17th, 2009. Beautiful vinyl. And I'm putting this in the category of Celtic punk. Not everything they do is Celtic, but a whole lot of it is. And I really like their, uh, the message that they put out. They're definitely pro labor and they support a lot of uh, Boston sports teams and have songs for those. So if you're not a Dropkick Murphys fan, give them a try. They do a live stream every St. Patrick's Day on the internet and this year will be no exception. Of course, during the pan pandemic, they did live streams of shows from an empty room. This year will be the return of the crowd. Boston. All right. What number was that? That was number three. Number four, we're going with some old school soul, R&B, the great King Solomon, Solomon Burke. This is on Atlantic. This is the mono. I believe it's an original. I need to uh, research that. Got a little tear back here. But I looked into this one at a used record store. PD's over in Kingsport, Tennessee. That stands for Paul Davis. He's got a great little shop. All used records. All in good shape. And the prices are always two, four, or six dollars. Now, if it's a special three LP or something like that, they might get up to eight dollars. But uh, it's a great place to find some great stuff. Original sleeve, obviously. And uh, there's your Atlantic. I believe that's the mono label, is that right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Fantastic record. And I've been snatching up more Solomon Burke along the way. Because uh, I like his stuff. All right, what's next? Now we jump into jazz. Here's Soul Station, Hank Mobley with Art Blackie, Blakey, Winton Kelly, Paul Chambers on the Blue Note label. I don't know how well you can see that through the shrink. I'm not sure I want to wrestle it back in there. I guess I will. So there we go. I hope you can see that better. Great album. I've only in the last few years started picking up some Blue Note and, and other great jazz records. And this is one of them. All right. Next is a twofer. I'm calling this psych. If it's not, it's certainly a, a psychedelic cover. And the Zombies Odyssey and Oracle. Great LP. 
time of the season. Mine is definitely not an OG. Baris Vintage. Got a nice inner sleeve with a poly liner. And last but not least, I got turned on to this by somebody on the internet. I don't remember if it was uh, Facebook or it wasn't a vinyl community because I wasn't involved yet. Uh, the Butterscotch Cathedral. And these guys are definitely psych. Stunning psychedelic magnum opus from this mysterious Tucson studio group. Two sides of interlacing suites that redefine the studio as an instrument. Won't you come inside, it says. So this is uh, not only psychedelic, but I would also consider it to be a, a concept album and, and even progressive. And it's on a beautiful butterscotch uh, colored vinyl with some splatter in there of orange and a little red. But anyway, I, I bought this off of recommendations from the internet. And I'm pleased that I did get it. It's on Trouble in Mind Records. Came with a download code. Uh, but I haven't seen anybody post this particular album. and Not that somebody hasn't, but I have not seen it yet. So, you know, maybe I'm the first. Maybe not. But it's the Butterscotch Cathedral. I believe people are just throwing words in a fishbowl and pulling a couple out to put band names together these days. So I could have gone on with some other genres. I'm a big fan of Zydeco. I saw somebody show that. Uh, I'm a big fan of, of classical. And I'm a big blues fan. Uh, so there's there's so many different ways to go with this. And, and I could have. I didn't really even show a prog rock album. That's weird. Because uh, I'm a big prog fan. But anyway, that is my entry into the contest for low noise. And, uh, I hope everybody's having fun today. I hope you're uh, spinning some records or some format of music. And I will see you in the next video. Go, go spin something. Thank you.